Okay. And now it's time for a segment we like to call So They Say. And parents, this one is for you. So when was the last time you've, you know, been on a romantic date? If you had to think back, you're part of the majority in this one. According to a new study by Groupon, three in 10 parents say it's been three years since a romantic date. Three years? But many of you say you want to change that. In fact, 81% say they need to step things up and have more date nights with their partners. Now, one third of parents say they've actually never spent Valentine's Day as a couple. That's one third. So I want you to chime in on this conversation. Use the hashtag Morning Rush ATL. In fact, you know, when we talk love, I love to ask Chesley all things about it. Mm -hmm. So Chesley, when was the last time that you and your wife went on a romantic date? Uh, uh, I'm, sure we, I'm sure we've done it within the past week or so. I mean, oh, wow. uh, yeah, like okay. a little dinner action movie, you know, <laughs> the typical stuff. Okay. It's not, not something, you know, all the wild and crazy days are over. You know, so just dinner and a movie typically would be romantic for us. I'd say that's healthy. Yeah. I mean, it's healthy to have yeah. that every yeah. now and then just oh, to yeah. keep that spark alive from what I hear. Yeah, <laughs> no, it is. Especially yeah. when Chesley falls asleep in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Which happens quite often. Yeah, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let mm -mm. us know if you're romantic if you're doing some romantic things with your partner let us know it is uh 510 right now ahead here on morning rush new details in the search for a six-year-old south carolina girl missing since monday plus the atlanta hawks may not be having their best record in the eastern conference but they are valuable and if you're still trying to get your valentine's day plans in order you may want to keep things chill i'll explain why